Hello there. In this video, we're going to take a look at DocShell 2.2, which is uh, supporting now Visual Studio 2012 Update 2. So Update 2 is a um, an update that, that provides a light switch V3 uh, capabilities, and V3 capabilities is the ability to have uh, one or more clients. Uh, HTML client is the default, and you can add a desktop client, which is a Silverlight client. So you can have those two clients coexist in the same light switch solution. In order to support that, uh, you will need to download the 2.2 uh, um, VizX extension as well as the uh, Telerac uh, provider uh, update 2. So basically these two uh, links, click on them. Once you have those uh, um, installed, uh, and you can follow, um, there's various uh, other videos that will explain that, you go through and you create a, a new client. So basically I'll start over, um, I'll say new project and pick an HTML project and I will call this one DocShell uh, Desktop 2 let's say and say no to that one. And so when you create a new project um, an HTML client essentially you end up with a um, uh, default uh, client which is the HTML client and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new client uh, and the client we're gonna add is a desktop client which is really a Silverlight client and so in this client here, we're going to call this one uh, uh, my SL client. Okay, with the client added, we're going to add some data. So we'll add a data source. Select, and this is pretty much the same as uh, the experience that you would have on the uh, previous uh, light switch uh, for setting up a data source for the light switch client for Silverlight. Okay, so once we have that, we now have our tables, and we're just going to add a couple of screens. So we're going to add a light switch screen for books, and then we'll add one for the for the uh, members, book club members. So new list detail, members, and what we'll do is uh, we're going to right click, uh, and go to properties. We're going to create two navigation groups. So the first one's going to be called uh, Books, and then the second one we will add a group and we'll call this one Members. So Members of the Book Club, basically. And we're going to move the Members List Detail screen to there, and we're going to remove it from the Books tab. Okay, so now if we uh, run this, you can see that uh, with the out of the box, we have the ability to access Members and Books List Detail. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Doc Shellify uh, the solution. So to do that we want to go to our properties and you can either right click or double click. And what we want to do in this case here is we want to um, change the extension or and add an extension actually. We're going to add the light switch doc shell uh, 2.2 extension. So if you don't see this 2.2 it's uh, it means that you're um, you haven't installed it correctly yet. Okay so now that that's uh, done we can hit save and then the next thing you want to do is go back to your Silverlight client to properties and we want to change the shell from Cosmopolitan to Doc Shell. Okay, once we've done that, then we want to flip over to File View and go to our client. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a reference to our Telerik provider. And this would be the uh, uh, solution that you would download from the website, uh, one of those zip files that we were looking at earlier. And then these are the various Telerik controls and that we're looking for. So that's good. Hit Add. Hit OK. So once we have the um, provider uh, set up, all we do is give this a quick build. And once we've finished the build, we're just going to add a solution folder, actually a couple. So we'll add a new folder, call it DS for Doc Shell. We'll add another solution folder. We're going to call this one model. And then we're going to add a model. So we're going to go add new item. Scroll right to the bottom. Make sure you remove that one and the name. Double click on the uh, model itself and then right click and refresh light switch model. And then wait until committing updates to store is complete. And it should uh, lay down a model once it's uh, finished. There you go. 
And so the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to add a what's called an application root shell. There's lots of videos that sort of take us through this, but this is a standard sort of doc shell support. Uh, pick the export, pick that particular uh, view. And then what we need to do is we need to link up our navigation uh, groups, which basically is, uh, in this case, ribbon tabs to there. And the same thing for our docking controls, which we call content container controls. Uh, but in this case, they are docking uh, area controls. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do is, is basically um, we go in. These are the navigation uh, commands themselves. And since we didn't actually put any icon on there, we need to do that. So I'm just going to pick an icon. So I'll pick, uh, I think that one's books. So I'll just pick one that looks like a book. And let's make sure that uh, now, because this is... Uh, defaults to a light switch uh, icon. We have to change that to local. In other words, the, the icon we have. And let's change this from books list detail, because this is the title uh, of the command itself, to books. We scroll down and we're going to pick the same thing on the members list detail. And in this guy we're going to scroll down, change this from light switch to a local, and change this icon right here to be an icon that, let's see, looks like a member. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is we need to put a license key on our application. So um, if you don't have a license key, you can go to the website and I'll show you how to do that. If you go to the website and you click here, you get your evaluation license key at this point here. This allows you to create uh, up to four screens and two navigation groups. So since we're only two screens and two navigation groups, we're pretty good to go. So you copy that license key, you go back to your model, click on this yellow area, and then in the properties where it says license key, just paste your license key and hit run. And when it comes up, it will look something like this. Now this is kind of like a default look. Um, of course, you can change this. Uh, you notice along the bottom, it has this message. It's a warning message that indicating that we are running an evaluation uh, license. Um, if you open up books, now the big difference here is that Books is now a floatable window. It's also a dockable window. And of course, uh, you can go over to your members and open up those, that screen. And so now you can see how, uh, where we get the name DocShell from because it's a docking framework uh, based on uh, third-party controlled docking frameworks. Okay, so essentially what we have done is we've created a desktop client for uh, our particular um, light switch application and uh, we've done it through the uh, HTML or what's called the v3 um, version of light switch and so just for fun we'll create a uh, HTML client or add to the HTML client I should say so the first thing we do is we're going to add a screen to our uh, uh, to our client to do that we have to go back to our logical view and add a screen and this time I'm just going to add a uh, book tab. So add books. And then I'm going to set this one up as the home screen. Sorry, yes, as home screen. And set this client up as the startup client. And then hit run. So when it comes up, you can see that uh, uh, we basically have the um, back end data source connected to the same backend data source that we had for the uh, Silverlight desktop client. So essentially, uh, that's the concept. You have a server uh, area which has multiple uh, data sources that um, you can connect up your uh, HTML client um, and or your desktop client. And you can specify, um, in this case here, from a debugging perspective, which client you want to run first. One other thing that should be noted here is that you can um, uh, add your Silverlight desktop client to SharePoint. You need to en enable uh, SharePoint. And of course, uh, this video won't get into that. But when you do that, you have to choose the client that you're deploying and uh, you're uh, good as gold. So after that, you can then run your client in SharePoint. It doesn't matter that it's HTML5 or it's Silverlight. Both will run fine. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video and introduction to uh, DocShell 2.2 support for Visual Studio 2012 Update 2. There's quite a few more features that are available in 2.2, um, so there'll be subsequent videos uh, in uh, very short order that'll take us through uh, those new features within uh, version 2.2. Thanks again, and have a nice day.